All right, guys, welcome back. So we're going on another tour. This is Toll Brothers uh, Palisades. We just did Cascades a second ago. Guys, this house is amazing. We're going to show you guys some more of the house, and hopefully you guys enjoy this. Hey, right, really looking forward to showing you guys this house. This happens to be one of my favorite houses, and the reason being is it's a different style. We looked at the modern houses, but this is more of a Spanish Mediterranean house. So I'm really looking forward to walking through with Ray and just showing you guys what our new house looks like. So I guess we're going this way first. This is the first uh, kind of guest bedroom or you know in-laws they kind of call this. So we'll come this way. You guys can see good sized bedroom. Of course, it's a first floor bedroom, so it's great for when you have guests who aren't going to be where the family normally is. Um, you know, big window right here. A lot of natural light. It's a lot of natural light. And then one of the other things that I've noticed is the recessed lighting, right? Okay. There's recessed lighting going across the house in each room. Along with the natural light, I'm sure the mood and the tone is set really nice at night. Um, what you'll also notice in this house is it's a full bathroom. So this is a nice uh, stand-up shower. Uh, they've gone an extra mile as far as the tile on the inside of the house. But what you'll also notice is it's a good space. So if you have perfect, so you see that bathroom, that's you know that's gonna be really important when you have guests, of course, right? But when people first come in, I know I'm the main culprit of this. When I first come in from being outside, I have to use the bathroom. So what happens is we have a powder room right here that you can go right into, use it. It's really good, it's a good space for the guests to be able to use and find very easily. Yeah, I feel like it's definitely nice that the bathroom there isn't also this bathroom. Right. So this is kind of the, everybody, all the scraggly people, they, they come to this bathroom right. here, and then the other bathroom's gonna be the one that's actually someone's bathroom. So right outside of here, one of my favorite parts of the other house that we saw in Cascades was the wine cellar. And this wine cellar here, I, I think, I, I don't know how you feel about it, I, this wine cellar might outdo the one at the other house. If you guys want to go back and check out the other Toll Brothers house, let us know. But this was a good size. I mean, I think it's really nice that they added the additional shelving so it's not just a wine cellar. You know, they have some uh, books in there. They have some, you know, bins or whatever in there. So this is a really good use of the space underneath the stairwell here. All right, who would have thought a staircase could be a wine cellar, right? I mean, it's a two for one. What more can you ask for? So, I mean, obviously you see that and that's really beautiful, right? And then what you do is you walk right in, your eyes take you here. So when you come out here, you have to see there's a bar. It's kind of more of an adult space, right? The adults always want to have their playpen as well, similar to the way the kids have their playpen. So we have a nice eggs here. Um, you know, if you have a grill mass, if you know what you're doing on the grill, you can leverage this space along with the island. So when it comes down to entertainment and the entertaining area, you have a space right here where you can relax and enjoy a nice night. Now we're back into that master kind of foyer area here and this area is always grand the last house we saw is grand i think they do a good job of this area right here when you first walk in just looking giant looking like a i mean looking like a palace that's how you want your house to look so it definitely looks like a custom home when you're here right through this area here guys we're going into our giant living room area so here's our living room kind of sitting area Right now, everything's fully open, so we can see the backyard behind it, which is, of course, beautiful. Yeah, and one thing they do a really good job with at Toll Brothers is it's an entertainer's paradise, right? So in this case, although it's more of a family home, you have a place where you can sit down and really enjoy time with the family. If you want to watch your favorite family TV show, you can do that here. If you want to take the kids out back and they want to play, you can do that there as well. So it's really like a two-for-one, and they do a really good job of maximizing the open floor plan. So I guess let's cut out to the backyard. Obviously, you guys are probably excited to see the backyard. That's one of the nicest parts of this house. I think we've all seen houses that are kind of, you know, beautiful inside, all that. But they do a great job of really connecting the inside to outside here. One thing you can see right here on the edge is look at the flooring. It's the same flooring from the inside of the house going right out here to the outside of the house. So I think that's really interesting how they make it really seamless between indoor and outdoor. Of course, the doors do tuck away. So... The tuck away doors make it feel like this is just one open space, but they do a really good job. I mean, look at the two TVs there. 
you really can't tell the difference in the indoor and outdoor space. So I'm sure at night, once it cools down, this is probably a really fun space to be in. And here's the backyard, guys. Obviously the backyard's amazingly peaceful. I'm sure you guys can hear the water falling off the hot tub there. I mean, it just has a very zen garden feel back here. It doesn't feel like a bachelor pad. It feels like a zen garden. It feels like somewhere you can come and relax, re-energize for the rest of the week. I think they did a really good job of this. I, again, I really love the hot tub. I really love the uh, little kitchen table over, over there. And they even give you a little patch of grass here. We gave you a taste of the outside, but what you want to see now is when you come in, you have like your breakfast nook uh, on the inside where, you know, once breakfast is done, get the kids ready, get ready to get out and get ready for school. Yeah, I think they did a really good job with this room. And I mean, just the the table in general, I think is, is nice. Having a big, long table in here. Uh, the light fixtures they have hanging from the ceiling here are also amazing. So I, I think that honestly, again, Toll Brothers, you guys did a really good job of showing us what this house can look like with the right furniture and really what the whole feel and vibe of this house can be. Again, right here behind the table, you see all this cabinet space. You know, great storage space in here. Not liking that at all. And then right to this beautiful kitchen here with the beautiful island right here next to Nigel. So this is one of my favorite parts of the house, right? This island, it's a big round island. It takes up just enough space, but it really draws your eyes to it. It really sets the kitchen off. So. Um, you know, this island is really special. It's like the centerpiece in the room. It's the centerpiece of the house, um, no matter where you are, living room, outside, breakfast nook. It just really, your eyes gravitate toward this area. Yeah, I definitely think that this is kind of interesting because it's a interesting shape to this area here. They kind of made it a corner. And a lot of times we see like these really square islands or rectangular islands. And here they use this kind of like square shape to a circle to make this island. So. I, it's definitely a unique shape to the island. I think it gives you a lot of space to work with, a lot of like usable space, as well as give you the bar area there that's really nice for the kids to sit down or if you're entertaining for people just to come over and eat food here. So there's the outdoor dining room, there's the dining room, and then you have the breakfast nook slash bar area right here. Coming down this way, huge appliances. You know, same stuff Nigel was talking about, amazing kitchen. And we go into, I don't even know what this area would be called here. I'm gonna let Nigel take this area. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's the pantry. I'm not sure if it's the washroom. What happens is you have all of the above. So to the left, you have your pantry right here. This is a very nice area where we can store some of the different treats and some of the different, you know, uh, household items that you're gonna need to store. But the other side is when you're in the kitchen, sometimes, you know, you have laundry as well as you have your in-law suite that's downstairs. Well, you can take advantage of this space even more with the laundry room right here. Right? And then if you have a pet, maybe a dog, maybe a cat, uh, it's a very unique area where the space has already been carved out for them to have their own place as well. So this is like you know, your pet's bedroom, more or less. And uh, last but not least, while the food is on after you know, school, after work, um, maybe you can take advantage of this, maybe your kids can take advantage of this, but um, just having an office in the house is always a benefit.
All right, guys, so downstairs was crazy, but upstairs is also super beautiful. Um, this is the first sitting area that we're going to see upstairs here. And this area here is just a laid back area where like the kids could do their homework, even the, you know, it could be the parents area while the kids are downstairs. But it's a really open area right here, right as you get to the top of the staircase. Everyone's always looking for the place in the house where they can call their space. This happens to be the kids' space, right? So this might be a good place to put a pool table or you can situate it the way that it's situated today where you have a nice sectional and when the kids have their play day, they have a place that they can go to and have fun. Now it's definitely interesting. As you can see, there's already Toy Story on the uh, TV right now. So it's definitely set up as just like maybe a little family area before bed. You know, depending on the age of the kids, you guys come in here, boom, we can sit down, everyone can hang out. Look at how big this couch is. You can really fit the whole family on this couch. And, I mean, they have, what, a 100-inch screen up here. So, I mean, just a really relaxing area. This house feels really homey. As much as any of the houses are modern or they're beautiful or whatever the case is, honestly, this is one of the most homey houses that we've seen yet. And it, I know a lot of it's a staging, but... It's a, it's a nice homey house and very different from some of the other more modern houses that we've uh, been viewing. Let's go over here though and check out the uh, bedroom. This will be the first bedroom, guys. Oh wow, yeah, this is nice. It's a good size full bathroom here. This is very nice. Oh yeah, this is crazy. So It's kind of set up where they almost have their own quarters. So this is the, probably the shot you like the most. Who's going to go in this one? <laughs> yeah. But I love that it's almost like a separate bath there. It's like a private quarters as you come in there. Great size bedrooms. You know, of course, a lot of natural light everywhere here. Good size closet. Your kids don't have that much stuff. Please, please tell me your kids don't have enough stuff that this is a problem. Little shoe area down here. Even the brick, I'm sure this is like a, a little bit of an add-on or something like that, but... I mean, there, there's some cool stuff that Toll Brothers is doing to make these rooms not feel so cookie cutter, not feel so basic. They really do a good job making these houses feel like custom homes. Wow, guys. So we have a treat for you guys when you come around this corner. So the master bedroom and the other more modern house, the uh, Cascades, definitely take a look at that. But there's something special about this one here. So... I don't know, what do we want to do? Do we want to do closet? Still closet. We're going to do closet first. So let's yeah, have Nigel take you guys this way. Perfect. So um, one of my favorite parts about this house is the master bedroom, which you'll see as you see this nice, beautiful closet. You can have your jewelry and all your, you know, really nice um, accessories in that side of the house. And then you can see, you know, there's an opportunity to put some detail across the top. But this is a custom built closet. It almost feels like you're at a Louis Vuitton store yourself. Yeah, no, this closet is definitely crazy right here. I think just having so much space, having one of these little uh, islands right here, people love the island. Um, you know, we always have to get a dresser. There's tons of dresser drawers right here. So, I mean, this is a good size closet. If you're in a house like this, I'll be honest, you might need a little bit more closet space than this, but it's a pretty good size closet. I love the accented lighting under here. It just really gives it that store feel. That's right. And of course, Toll, Toll Brothers always does a great job of setting this up in a way that just makes you feel like it's a quality place. Let's cut across right now though to the other side. Right guys, so this here is the actual master bedroom, I think? Yeah, this is the actual master bedroom. So okay. you have your nice sitting area. You know, when you get a house like this, you're always, you're always gonna wanna take advantage of the view. So you have a nice balcony here where you can you know, have a few drinks, sit on the balcony, watch the sunset, and really, or watch the sunrise, depending on what you're into. But uh, Porter Ranch is a really emerging community where there's a lot of retail, there's a lot of new, uh, interesting people, nice houses, uh, but it's a great opportunity to network in a nice community uh, while still growing your dreams and living out your life. Yeah, definitely. I think one of the cool things that he was telling us earlier was Toll Brothers really worked with the city here to make sure that there's a shopping center, to make sure that there's a hiking trail, to make sure that all of these things came together as the community itself was being built. So that's definitely one of the coolest things the Toll Brothers did. And it's really a nice thing that they put together the whole community and not just these houses. But again, if you look at this room here, it's a huge room. It's a nice sitting area. And one of the cooler things is that 
there's a wall here to kind of separate your bedroom from this area here. So I really like that. It kind of gives you privacy if you want to, you know, have the kids in the bedroom, they come in, in to talk to you or whatever. They can still do that, but you still have the actual bedroom area as like a private area. So I think that's pretty cool. Great, so Ray passes it over to me. Um, what's really special about this master bedroom that you'll see, especially being in LA, the cost of this house, I know we didn't talk much about cost, the cost of this house is about two million bucks. Uh, but what happens is it's about 5,500 square feet. So if you think about like Hollywood or downtown LA or some of the different places in Los Angeles that you would potentially look at living in, your house may be the size of this master bedroom for about the same cost. And um, we're only about 30 minutes or so away from those specific areas. Guys, so this is the outdoor patio area of the master bedroom. And it's honestly it's a super comfortable area. Even on a day like today where it's pretty hot, just having this covering here kind of cools it down a lot. It's a lovely area. I love the little mini fridge set up right here. I mean, just honestly, they, they do a really good job putting these houses together here at Soul Brothers. Yeah, but one thing I'll say, I wouldn't be afraid of putting a ceiling fan here. You know, we were just talking earlier. You know, the good thing about LA, it, it rarely rains, and especially in the valley, it's always um, pretty warm weather. So if you had a nice ceiling fan here, you can sit out here, do your reading in the morning, relax, maybe even talk to your kids, right? Wouldn't that be something? <laughs> All right, guys, so from here, we're going to go out and check out this master bedroom's beautiful bathroom. So, guys, you can't have a beautiful master bedroom without a bathroom like this. It's giant. Look at Nigel over there. You hear the echo in here, I'm sure, guys. Yeah, I mean, what else do you need, right? Your bathtub has a view, not a view where you would be exposed, but it has a nice view where you can see and look over top of the city. You have a nice, big, beautiful shower. Uh, it looks like a his and hers type of situation. And what more can you ask for? Yeah, no, I think they definitely did a good job with the shower here. Even like you can see how big this shower is, you know. You know, six foot here. It's a huge shower. So I, I think I love when everything is just large, when the ceilings are high. It, it just really gives it again that what I call modern, but it's really an open feel to the house. So right here, I don't think we got a chance to pop in here yet. It's one of the guest bedrooms. Really solid closet size here. Interesting little chandelier they decided to put in here. Little shelf space behind there. And, you know, there's always natural light in all the windows here. So you can see, boom, you get a little bit of light in. Although these lots are somewhat smaller, you can see kind of the house next door to you. But this is a good-sized room. It's a lot bigger than a lot of the rooms that we see in some of these places. Good-sized bathroom. It's a great guest. All right, so this is interesting here. There's another laundry room, right? Yeah, so what's really cool is you have the laundry room downstairs nearby the kitchen. Maybe, you know, you have your kids downstairs doing their homework, what have you. But then, obviously, the bulk of the bedrooms will be up on this floor, right? So we have the guest suite downstairs, maybe the in-law suite. But the remaining four bedrooms will be on this floor. So you'd like to have a laundry room up here that you can use for some of the different rooms, maybe for the kids, maybe for, um, you know, the maid or whatever else you have in your house. Cool, so we made it to another room. Uh, this is bedroom number four, uh, as you see it. And uh, this room is another good size room. You can put you know, a queen size bed in. You can also afford to put two nightstands, uh, dual closets right here. And then as you've noticed in all of the other rooms, they all have a full bathroom. So this one has a shower um, as well, you know, and it's a full bathroom that uh, each kid or each person can have their own space.
guys, thank you for checking out another house with us and going just around the Los Angeles area to check out these houses and just see what's available on the real estate market. Um, you know, we're really trying to put together some good videos for you guys and show you guys a real range of different places. So if you guys like this video, please like it. Please comment. Tell us what you guys want to see, what you guys like. And uh, I don't know what. That's it. Thanks for your time. This is going to be an immaculate house. Um, if you get a chance to come and visit yourself, you won't be you won't be upset about it. It's beautiful. Again, this is Toll Brothers uh, Palisades, and that was Toll Brothers Cascades. This is the last video that I'll have linked to come after this video, guys. Thanks a lot.